In this lesson, we're going to look at the basics of how to put your movie together in Sony Vegas Studio 11. To begin, click on the Project Media tab at the bottom of your project window. You should see thumbnail pictures of each of the clips that you imported earlier. To preview a clip, click on it once to highlight it, then click the Play button in the Project Window toolbar. The clip will start playing immediately in the preview window at the top right of the screen. To stop the clip, click on the square Stop button in the toolbar at the top of the Project Media window. Keep previewing each clip until you find the one that you want to use in your movie. When you've decided on which clip to use, you'll want to choose a section of that clip to edit into your movie. To do this, right-click on your clip in your Project Media window and choose Open in Trimmer. The Trimmer window will open. This is where you're going to choose a subsection of your clip, or shot, that you want to use in your movie. Using the VCR type control buttons, play and pause, at the bottom of the trimmer window, play until you find the frame where you want your new shot to begin. If you need to go forward or backward a frame or two, you can use the previous frame and next frame buttons. Once your playhead is on the frame where you want your new shot to start, press the I button on your keyboard. This is known as a mark in point, and a yellow left pointing triangle should show up right where your playhead is. Next, you'll need to select the out point, or the frame on which your new shot ends. Using the playback controls, find the frame that you want your shot to end on, then press the O button on your keyboard. The shot that you've marked with an in and an out will appear as a dark highlighted section between two yellow markers. Next, go to your timeline and move the playhead to the point where you'd like the new shot to go. You can use the playback controls in the timeline transport bar, or you can drag the playhead by its handle. Now go back to your trimmer and click on the Add Media from Cursor button. You should see your clip show up on your timeline, represented as a small thumbnail picture on the top with the audio underneath it. You can also click on the highlighted section in your trimmer and drag it down to your timeline and drop it where you want it to go. In this case, since it's my first shot, I'm going to put the playhead all the way to the left or at the very beginning of my movie. Notice that both the video and audio from the clip go together. Now just repeat the same steps for your next shot. Click on the Project Media tab to see your imported footage. Right click to open a clip in the trimmer. Mark an in point where you want the shot to start and an out point where you want the shot to end. Then drag the blue highlighted section onto your timeline so that it's placed right after the first shot. You can tell if you're right next to the first clip if you see a light blue line show up in between as you let go of the mouse. Notice that there is a thin black line between the first two clips on your timeline. This is called an edit point, which is where one clip ends and the next one begins. Continue this process until you have all your shots laid out onto your timeline. You can also delete any shots from your timeline by right-clicking on the shot that you want to get rid of and choosing Delete from the pull-down menu. If you want to watch your movie, you need to drag the playhead back to the far left or beginning of your timeline and press the play button that's in the bottom transport bar. You'll see your movie play in the preview window at the top right of your screen. Note that if you drag the playhead by its handle, it moves much more slowly than if you drag it by the playhead line. You can also press the play from start button in the timeline transport bar to see your movie. So far, we've been laying out our clips or shots onto an empty timeline using what's called a punch-in edit. A punch-in edit is simply one where the clip goes on top of wherever you drag it. But there's another kind of edit that's useful when you already have clips on your timeline and want to add another one in between two clips. This is called an insert edit because you are inserting it between two other shots and moving everything else downstream on your timeline. So let's give that a try. I'm loading another clip into my trimmer window marking an in point and an out point. But before I drag it onto my timeline, I'm going to click on the Auto Ripple button in the toolbar above my project window to activate it. Now, I can drag my highlighted section to the timeline and drop it onto the edit point between two clips. Remember, you can tell if it's on the edit point if you see a light blue line there. After I drop it in, the new shot is in between the other two shots and has pushed everything else downstream on my timeline. So those are the basics of editing clips onto your timeline with Vegas Movie Studio 11. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to trim clips once they're already in the timeline.